All right, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna go over the hydrolysis reaction of amino acids. I'm not gonna lie, this will probably be the shortest video ever recorded on my channel. Probably like three minutes tops. We'll see. The reason is, is because this is a very simple topic if you watch my last video on how to make peptide bonds. If you did not watch that video, I highly suggest you watch it. Otherwise, you probably might be lost. Water can break up the peptide bond of amino acids. So in the last video, we went over that the peptide bond is what joins two amino acids together. Well, what we're trying to do is undo this. So how do we actually break up amino acids? We use water. So what's the point of actually breaking amino acids? We said in the last video that we're trying to make proteins and so they can do bodily functions. But why do we want to break it up? Well, say there's an amino acid that needs to get somewhere in the body. But it can't because it's joined, you know, because of a long chain, right? It's already into a protein. But we need this very specific amino acid to go somewhere in the body. Pretend it's like serine or something. And you want this amino acid to go to the brain. This is just completely made up. How do we do that? The protein is too large. So we need to break it up into smaller pieces, smaller chunks. And we use water to do that. So step one, just add water and we're done. <laughs> so here we have a peptide bond. This is the exact same molecule we went over in the last video. You have aspartic acid bounded to serine through a peptide bond. What we're going to do is we're going to add water. And what water is going to do is going to basically come over to this peptide bond and karate chop it in half. It's like, hiya! So it's gone. Wipes it out. That's what water does. And now we're left with amino acids as they were originally, how we learned them. Just amino acids by himself, pronated, of course. So we got, the, you know, we got the carboxylic acid group here and amino group here. So the, the carboxyl group has a proton to it, right, attached to it, which is there. And here as well. The amino group has, it's an NH2 and not an NH3. Remember that. So here we go, and here we go. And that is literally it. Water, this sh breaks the peptide bond. I really, d I don't know what else to say. Like, yeah, I don't know. That's it. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And until next time, later.